You can make the pivot uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. Shot to third. Holy oh, cow! Does it? Yes, he oh. does. <laughs> so, as a major league third baseman. But you believe it. So here's Drebeck to Brantley off his leg. Holy oh, cow! Called him out. Oh, his... Wow, they're going to get an argument on this one because Mattingly made a great play. Wrap to third. Tomey makes the grab. They've got one and cannot make the turn. Jim Tomey, the third baseman of the future, enjoying the present. He's a very athletic young man. Ground ball to third. Carter with another chance. Throws out Butera. Bottom of the 13th, Orozco in right field. McDowell, the old pitcher in the ballgame. <laughs> Line drive to Jesse Orozco, who hauls it in. We go to the ninth inning, and we see something that we've never seen before. Jorge Posada is going to play second base for the first time in his major league career, and it's the circle of life or the circle of a baseball career because Jorge Posada, when he started in the Yankee organization, started as a second baseman before the organization decided to switch him to catcher, and here he is, a second baseman here, in August of a game the Yankees winning 22 to 8. You know what it looks like a brand new glove. There's a ground ball of Posada how perfect. And he fires low and a scoop by Swisher and the game is over. Jorge Posada wound up and fired and a great stretch and a scoop by Swisher and the Yankees win this one in historic style. Donaldson gets his first big league start. He struck him out. Chased the ball down and in. Donaldson recovers and throws the first for the out. Elvis is tagged out trying to steal. Michael Young does not get a chance to drive him in. And Elvis has now been caught stealing three times more than anybody else in the American League. Here's the 3-2 again, and it's lifted in the air toward left center field. That ball is going to be caught by Ramirez, who bobbled it just momentarily. It hung up long enough for him to get there. You see Ramirez in left field. This ball kind of came back to him because it was slicing in that direction. He just continues to perform no matter where they play him. Ground ball second, Bregman to Correa, Correa to first, double play. That's what they needed. Fifth time we've seen Alex Bregman at second base. He has a start at second base under his belt this season. Good play on this. Hit hard, but right at him. Nice little backhanded flip to Carlos Correa to complete that double play. Much needed. As crazy as that sounds in an 8-1 to one game. Ground ball, right side of the infield. Bregman makes the play. Well, the Braves took the field, and no, Freddie Freeman did not stop and hesitate at the first base back. He made it all the way across the diamond, where he will take his first ground balls as a major league third baseman tonight behind Sean Newcomb, the Atlanta starter. Breaking ball, Freddie's got it. Looks the runner back. A perfect strike to first on his first chance at the hot corner. No trouble. Good hop. Knew how much time he had. Took a look at Guriel to keep him at second base. Freddie played third his whole high school career and a few games in the Gulf Coast League. Line to third, and Freeman caught that. Freddie's been busy tonight. Line drives, but he spears this one. That saved extra bases and maybe a run. Nice play. Hit well toward right. Olsen back. Olsen near the wall. Olsen against the wall and he caught it. Heck of a play by Matt Olsen to end the top of the eighth inning. He went back. Remember, he's about six foot five, and that may have helped him there. Real Muto knocks that into left center field. Diving catch. It's Turner. This was off the bat. Line drive, it started dying a little bit, maybe had some top spin to it, but Trey Turner, he's so quick. What an athlete. You mentioned it 
Shortstop in college, middle infield. They didn't know really where to put him. I think they found a home for him. Velasquez is in left field. And a line drive base hit to left field. Abreu to third. They're waving him home. The throw to the plate by Velasquez on a couple hops is in time. How about that? Vince Velasquez with an outfield assist. He threw a seed. I mean, look at this. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Unbelievable throw by Vince. Line drive to left field. Velasquez diving no catch. Way. Oh man, what a play! The man is flat out an athlete. Travis Wood is still in the game, but he's in left field. He played a little bit in left field in an extra inning game earlier this year. He's out in left field now. <laughs> uh -oh. I don't know if Wood's going to have a play on this one. It is caught. He races back to the ivy and made the catch. <laughs> this is awesome. He gets a good jump on it, but this looked like it was either out or wow. off the ivy. This is not an easy play for anyone, even a regular left fielder, to make, knowing where he's at on the wow. field, up against the ivy. Michael Lorenzen stays in the game. He's in right field. So from the pitcher's mound to right. And would you know it hit right to Lorenzen. And Lorenzen reaches up and makes the catch. Oh my goodness. And a tip of the cap from Iglesias. I wonder if ever the conversation went to, hey Iggy, if you ever need me in the outfield, I'll be there for you. What a catch. Yes, that's Russell Martin at third base. This is the first time he has played at third base since 2013 with the Pirates when he made a couple of appearances there including a couple of starts and of course the ball finds him everybody roaring they know it's Martin at third and that's about as exciting a 5 3 put out as you'll ever see first but a shot right on the first pitch show off that athleticism Russell come on in and get it the easy part was catching it I think the hard part for him was throwing it across the diamond look at that you see him set that ball in his glove four seamer and he just pops it over to first base. How about that. Another first pitch swing and another great pick at third by Gallo the throw to first. Got him. Wow from the seat of his pants. <laughs> a little bit of a slip here. We'll probably see a replay but there he goes. Really nice job Ranger. Tried to get up realized he couldn't. And so he throws that ball seated and realized he probably didn't have enough time either to get up and Joey Gallo. Making a great throw sitting on the grass like he's, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it. Let me just throw it from here. Not enough time to stand up. That's a great job by Joey Gallo. On the ground, Salvi makes the play. Singer's there in time. A five-time gold glover behind the plate, and he saves at least a run to end the fifth. How about El Capitan?